Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Dishonored 2. We are fully at the start of the game, checking out what's all here. Letter from advisor Helmswater, Empress, we face yet another murder and I cannot remain silent on this matter. Strange is it not that all the victims have openly opposed you, if not strange then also very convenient. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Majesty? How can I be an advisor if you don't include me in these most sensitive of endeavors? I feel I must be the only person in Dumbwell who doesn't know the truth about the crime killer. Don't leave me out in the cold. I remain your trusted servant and advisor, Leonera Helmswater. Right, somebody is framing Emily, it seems. Ship launch protocol. Empress, after the Royal Protector Shakedown cruise, will launch the ISS Jessamine Coldwind just before the anniversary of your mother's passing. Pending your approval, of course. On the platform, we'll have a bottle of King Street, King Street brandy tied to a long tether that you will release to swing out against the hull. What you say during the ceremony is, of course, up to you, but here are some ideas intended to serve as food for thought. May a brisk wind hurry you to shores near, far and fair. May you shelter your crew from the perils of the terrible ocean. May you always sail for Gristol, true of heart and homeward bound. Yours faithfully, advisor Wayne Wright. Man, a lot of reading material over here. That's the map. Rudshore Financial District, King Sparrow Island. Old Hound's Pit, Dunwall Tower, that's where we at now, Coldridge Prison, Clock Tower State District, Goldwind Winds Bridge. I think that was also a location in the first game. Office of the High Overseer, Slaughterhouse Row, Golden Cat. I think was also from the first game. I'm not really sure, but I do sound very familiar. And the months of the year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 months. 3, 6, 9, Earth, Harvest, Nets, Rain, Wind, Darkness, High Gold, Ice, Hearts, Seeds, Timber, Clans and Songs. Typing writer, typewriter. All right, I think that's about it. We have to make our way out of here. Unless there's something else. What I noticed while playtesting a bit is that even if you think that a location, you have everything cleared and figured out, if you go back, there might the stuff that you overlooked. There's quite some stuff hidden in plain sight in this game, so to say. All right, that's the harbor. There's a ship. There's the bridge, Cold Winds Bridge, I guess. And we are at Dunwall Tower near the prison. The prison is behind here. And I also like this art style. It's not like a graphical powerhouse, but it's still very immersive. Delilah took away the mark of the outsider. No more sorcery. Right, not sure what I picked up there. Lord Protector, ah. I can't believe Ramsay's a traitor. Yes. Uh. Is Lady Emily all right? There's a right? coup underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away, and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. All right. We have a weapon. We can also move bodies, by the way. Pretty cool. In that sense, it's a true stealth game. 
No time for that now. All right, I already play tested this area a bit, and I know this is where the safe room is. We need to open up that bookcase. I'm not going to go into each and every cupboard, but I am trying to guess, get uh, familiar and acclimatized with the game world. So I'm a bit more elaborate now. Circonian, Circonian Legends, The Lost Ship Returns. It's always amazing, those paintings in games. Actually, the artists make those paintings, I think, themselves as well. They're not like existing things they copied into the game. That's just a testament of how much work and creativity goes into game development. All right, here we go. A lot of blood on the floor. Lean around corners to pick at enemies and assess the situation. By holding Y and moving L, you can lean around corners or peek over cover. Leaning allows you to look ahead without being seen by enemies. But I will be seen because uh, I set that in the difficulty setting. But it will of course be better to peek than to be like in full view. So, it's good to know. This is the peak. These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. He has a key. And he looks to be pretty alone. Assassinations takedowns. Press right trigger while close to an unaware enemy to assassinate them. Press and hold right button instead for a non-lethal takedown. All right. Let's quickly. Ah, I cannot save the game apparently. There used to be a quick save option in this menu. By the way, this is the menu. A long day in Dunwall. Delilah and Duke Luca Abel have taken the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. All right, the objective, escape Dumbledore Tower, open the safe room, eliminate Mortimer Ramsey. Find Mortimer Ramsey. Open the safe room. Ah, it actually gives like a hint with the um, picture to the right. I remember first time playing this game, like two years ago, I searched for hours for that room. I also had the hut turned off. There's just like a, a, a pretty clear clue in the menu here so that's good to know that there are clues in the menu eliminate mortimer ramsey mortimer ramsey the night watch captain who betrayed you has your signet ring get it back and deal with him check the throne room for mortimer ramsey all right clues a new captain who goes by the name of megan foster arrived in dunwall she's looking for corvo atano maybe she can help you Find clues by reading books or notes or listening to audiographs and conversations revealing alternative ways to finish your missions. We'll for sure do that. Mission items have none. Menu below, it has, I think, scrap, mana, some other goodie or fluids and coins. We have 20 coins. Then we are now in the mission menu. We also have a bone charm menu. Uh, equip bone charms and craft bone charms. That is probably uh, the um, um, yeah capability upgrades of Corvo. The um, I always forget the words. It's proficiencies, so to say, or competencies, skills. Lore and maps, ship launch protocol. I already read this, it's still marked as unread for some reason. That's actually pretty cool that it stays unread, so that means I don't need to, everything I pick up, I don't need to read it straight away, as to become confused as to what I read and didn't read. The only way to avoid that is just read everything straight away, but that's also not that 
nice sometimes when you're in the middle of some action uh, sequence and you have to stop and start reading uh, a novel or something. So it's good that there's actually, um, that that is uh, marked as new. Although the exclamation mark disappears as soon as I hover over it, which does not necessarily mean I've read it. I would have preferred it that the exclamation mark only disappears when you actually press the A button to read it, but it's better than nothing I uh, assume. This one I read, this one I read, this one we also read. Audiographs, nothing, lore, nothing, maps, nothing. And then we have the travel log, a long day in Dunwall, new year. For most people, a new year means renewed hope and promises. Me, I just hate the memories that get dredged up. Today, third day of the month of Earth, would have been Jessamine's birthday. We used to take um, a skiff out on the river before dawn, bringing a good bottle of sparkling wine, just to take a few moments to watch the sun rise together. Alone for a while before she got caught up in her duties for the day. All these years later, why I'm still thinking about it. The anniversary, the worst time of year these weeks, leading up to the anniversary of Jessamine's murder. I run through it all again. If I'd just been there a moment sooner or known more about Dot, if I'd been just a bit stronger, faster, smarter, if, if one moment she was here, then, then next in my arms slipping away. the next i think it should be not then next i could do nothing i could do yes i still grieve the whole world still grieves and so we mark the day she was murdered with summer speeches and trumpets the month of harvest can't come soon enough all right that's all pretty clear um, we will be taking out dead dudes but let's quickly check it out we have the months of earth and harvest and i'm just a bit curious about whether that's like in the winter time or in the summer time earth is january harvest is february we are in the winter time Over there, that's one of those guard houses that I remember from the first game. Pretty cool. Here we are. Let's take out that dude. <coughs> and get his key. He wants to talk to the boss. Little lick spittle. And let's hide him. Maybe this is not the best place to hide him. I thought there was some other rooms over here. Ah, this is the actual room we started. Now we have the key. some books so he says keep alert and I says I have alert I've been alert and he says I actually I'm gonna try to play the game without any crosshair whatsoever let's just try it I'm not using that crossbow that often anyways um, we're going fully no hut that li even that little dot is extracting to me like so oh yeah but this time i really mean it hmm. thought there would be another dude all right we have a room over here let's peek through the hole 
Nothing much. Really feels a bit like Thief as well. Nothing much in here. Bad salts. Bathing salts. Some monies. Very nice. I also could use an apple. Man, I'm such a collectible hoarder. It's crazy. It's also trying to get a feel how often goodies are can be found in these cupboards. As we both know, whoever's killing off my detractors is doing so for calculated effect, undermining me. The crown killer is being guided by someone, but who? Tomorrow's the anniversary of Mother's death. A sad day for us both. But I want you to remember all that's happened over the last 15 years. You've protected me and taught me how to protect myself. You've helped me see what was right for the people of the Empire. We drained the flooded district, fought back the gangs, and yesterday we launched a beautiful ship in Mother's name. I'm trying to become the sovereign she wanted me to be. But Father, I wouldn't be here without you. So it's actually Corvo's daughter. I thought maybe stepdaughter or something. So that means her mother, Jessamine, who got killed, was the Empress and Corvo was the protector. That protector sounds more like a bodyguard, not like a husband. So I don't really know that relation. Let's quickly check that out. So we do... Um, Cor... And Jessamine. Uh. Firstly, the popular theory on here seems to be that Corvo is Emily's father. I don't believe this at all. Isn't it obvious that that's not the case? When you return from the Isles and she runs up to you, she says Corvo, not Daddy. <laughs> Lastly, Corvo isn't the Empress's I husband. The In dialogue with the Overseers, now as well as the final the mission. There's gossip, like everybody knows you were screwing the Empress. He wouldn't say something like that if she was your wife. From what I understand, Corvo was a very standout warrior. He was assigned bodyguard because of this. Because Emily doesn't have a father, she will of course gravitate to the closest father figure in her life. Who else but her mother's personal guard? As for the addressing of him as the Empress's lover, well, I can tell you that if I hang out with a new female friend, everybody I know assumes we're going at it. There's a book somewhere that mentioned that the royal protector is chosen at a young age. and is often a very close childhood friend of the Empress. As such, Corvo and the Empress being in a relationship isn't that hard to believe. Alright, so it's probably not husband and wife, it's more um, yeah, lover, so to say. So I do think that Emily is not his daughter, but more like his stepdaughter. Ah, another book. Historical record of government positions and ranks. Addendum. Corvo Tano accused of assassinating the Empress, he was sworn to protect. How unlikely he would not only overcome the shame, but then redeem himself so fully as to be named Royal protector to yet another empress. Those of us at the College of Histories were too fast to use pen against him. Yet let us not blame historians for the evidence 
against Atano was nearly overwhelming. First, he's the only royal protector ever to have been born of an isle other than Gristol. His foreignness is not itself a crime, but added to the suspicions. The most forgiving of which was that he lacked the capacity to fully understand his duties. Second, he was caught quite red-handed with bloody at weapon kneeling over the body of Empress Jessamine. Of course, it turns out that even this damning evidence was part of a clever plot to destroy the Empress and remove Atano from interfering with the ongoing plans of the Lord Regent's conspirators. And while I admit to publishing what are now clearly incorrect conclusions regarding Corvo Atano, I will not, as some of my colleagues have done, resign my position at our veritable organization. But instead, I reinsert myself in the endeavor of weeding out the fact from fiction to produce the most salient histories possible. All right. There's a dude over there. Let's try to get him. Here we go. Wait. Ah, he's actually moving around. I will try to jump him. Like so. Disloyal dogs. Let's hide the bodies, see what happens. Because that captain is also still walking, will be walking about. And if we hide it, I'm curious where he will go. If he will not become suspicious. Alright, let's save the game. Is that possible? No, still not possible. Ah, here it is. That was the quick save option. All right, blocked there's off. the we captain. The time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers. Assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh. This is exciting. Everything's changing. Super yes. exciting. The natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, cream of society. Then very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's anyone else's fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. True. Keep my mind on my duties. Forget about that kiss. Oh, that kiss. Holy shit. Damn it, I need to pee. Where are you hiding? Holy shit. This is they are like uh, sensitive. <sighs> All right, there's a dude walking over there. You think you're smart? Hmm. I'll find you. So let's see. I don't like that. Let her have a look. How the hell? I could swear did... I saw someone. I saw something. <clears throat> How did they notice me? God damn it. I wonder what I'm dealing with. Can I imagine that? Something moves. Sure. <laughs> Alright, this is also a good test to see how tenacious they are. On the highest difficulty level. Oh, I wonder who that was. Be on your guard, right boys? No. Damn it. Look, 
everywhere. You found anything yet? Nothing here. Keep and your they... eyes peeled. Huh? Are... That's Corp of the tunnel. They are a bit too uh, tenacious and perceptive. In your head. Let's read this. Press RT to attack with your sword. Press left trigger to use your left hand gadget or power. You can press and hold X to sheath your weapon. To the do. All right, let's start over. Ah, I have a new tutorial. Well, that's the wrong menu. These are the statistics. Defense blocking. Already got that in the tutorial. Right trigger to attack. Press right trigger while close to an unaware enemy to assassinate. RB for non-lethal and lean. Yeah, we got that all in the tutorial. Let's just let them kill me. Oh, he's wounded! I've waited for this him. day. You aren't going anywhere. So you finally know your place. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers. Assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover Let's for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Let's try to get returns. something for a distraction. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils. And let's also Cream save it, so I don't need to and very play soon, this. You'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's anyone else's fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Still not sure how those dudes spotted me. One night at the body house, one night, and I'm covered in shankers. Alright, there's the ah that was probably the dudes. if we can get this up sure somewhere. Reeks. I gotta get a spare uniform. Let's survey the area a bit better. One dude over there. And the other one sitting over there. Quite hard <sighs> to get past him. <sighs> Maybe not if we <sighs> lure him away. <sighs> He's going back to that door. So let's lure the other one away. Oh, probably nothing, but uh, I'll be right back. Yell if you find anything <sighs> suspicious. Um. Right, that didn't really help at all. I wanted to separate them. Uh, <coughs> it's kind of dry. I could really go for a whiskey or something. Uh, maybe one of the two penny drinks. Could 
could just try my luck. <gasps> Where's the other one? He's somewhere around here, right? They'll pay for this. But I need to regroup, away from Dunwall. Did I imagine that? No, I'm sh- Huh? That's horrible! God damn it! Um... I will try it one more time, just to do it... Fully stealthily. Um... 9.28... Top one is the last one. Hmm. I thought I saved the game with that bottle in it. One night at the body house, one night. Now I'm covered in shankers. Huh? <gasps> Wait here. Oh, you're just checking shit. something. Huh? It's coming from here. Let's see. It. Holy shit. They'll pay for this. Nice. I need to regroup away from Dunwall. Alright, got those buggers out of the way. Let's see if there's anything else interesting over here. Look at this place. And let's save the game. Murdered for nothing more than their loyalty to Emily. Ruthless. Senseless killing. True. Man, I spent so long two years ago in this room because I thought there sh should have been a way out, totally negating the main objective of having to go back to the safe room. Spent hours climbing on top of those um, hanging lamps. Not much to be found here, I must say. Poor Emily. Poor decapitated dude. Long live the Empress in memory of Jessamine Coldwyn, 1805-1837, only 32 years old. In memory of Her Majesty Jessamine Coldwyn, Her Majesty Jessamine Coldwyn, mother to Emily, Empress to us all. Man, the freakiness factor, really, and also the, the, the dimensions of the NPCs, it does, it is a bit reminiscent to... Bioshock, in my view. Alright, let's check out this map. We have Morley. Tufia, Morley, Crystal, and Serconos. We are on Serconos currently. Serconos? No, we are in Dunwall now. I think. Oh, we have two 
Sophia Mori Gristol is Cerknos. We will be going to Karnaka, I think. I'm not even sure. Maybe that was Death of the Outsider, the DLC. Alright, let's first check out that captain that's still roaming about somewhere and then I will clear out the, the place. And then we get outside. It's pretty bright lights. It's a non HDR game, but it looks pretty uh, good, the lighting. Right, where would he be? I think he actually is in the safe room already. Yes, it's opened up. So there was actually a way, we had like this objective to kill him. But there's another way, Mortimer Ramsey can be locked inside the safe room with Russians, water and the Imperial Reserve, but you have to knock him out first. Taking a non-lethal approach will create less chaos, resulting in a more optimistic ending. I will doing a, I'm doing a, a less lethal playthrough. So I will be knocking him out instead. If the girl is oh, sorry, would fall asleep in here after the plague. If she'd bothered to keep her appointments, I might have finally, finally restored the family to its proper station. My idiot father notwithstanding. Alright, let's do a test. Can I distract him with something? Not really. And I will just do a aerial attack. Nope. Hey, who is? God damn it! Why didn't that work? Probably because I didn't. It really wasn't high enough to jump down from. Girl, I'm oh, sorry, her Imperial Majesty had not ignored me at the butler's chamber. Emily would fall asleep in here after the plague. I might have finally, finally restored the family to its proper station. My right. idiot father notwithstanding. I need something to remove him from his chair. Like a glass. So interesting how quick he will react. <laughs> See you later, dudes. <laughs> All right, so we accomplished eliminate Mortimer Ramsey. Ah, I have to close the uh, safe room first, but before I do that, I'm gonna clear it out, this area. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? We have spyglass, pretty handy. Crown killer strikes again. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Goldwyn has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshot style of governance and her willful neglect of duties. 
Authorities are convinced the crown killer is the culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversaries fall one by one to this notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector to murder all who dare to criticize the throne? I suspect the crown killer is connected to Delilah's coup. Me too. Excerpt from a book on sailing, tradition and scrimsaw. Bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back paths, from salty dogs to young greenhorns still finding their sea legs. In old times, sailors cut into the tusk of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of the bears that roamed the islets north of Tuvia. Once the whaling trade began, the practitioners began engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon, increasing a lover's figure or providing defense against pregnancy. Right, that are charms. Use elixirs to replenish your health. I'd better take these. Right, how do we use them? The SNG health elixir replenishes health. The Edermeyer solution replenishes mana. Both can be used from the kick quick access wheel. A shortcut for the SNG health elixir elixir appears when your health is low. Edermeyer solution is automatically consumed when your mana is depleted. I have, I think I have automatic consumation of mana disabled in my difficulty level. But um, let's get the quick access wheel. How do we get the quick access wheel? Hold left button. All right. So we have seven bullets. Zero mana, one health elixir. And I wonder what the, if I'm low on health, what the shortcut will be. I won't see it on screen because I have the HUD disabled. But we'll have to pay attention to that, that that's an option. Shortcut for health. Corvo Atana, the royal protector in our times, part two. In an act of rebellion, young Jessamine Coldwin chose Corvo as a royal protector when Corvo was 19 and she was 12. He served her loyally as a bodyguard courier and some say spy. Before and after she was crowned empress, though it was a scandalous gossip at the time, it is said they began a love affair around 1823 when Jessamine was 18 and Corvo 25. The next chapter of Atana's life is like something out of a legend. During the time of the Red Plague, when the Empress fell, Corvo was accused of regicide and sentenced for execution. He was thrown into Coldridge prison and publicly reviled. He escaped and is part of a small conspiracy dedicated to throwing down the tyrannical Lord Regent. Corvo struck back at the people who killed the Empress and who wronged him. As the Lord Regent fell, the loyalist conspiracy turned on Corvo, poisoning him. Surviving through some inner resilience, he located the true assassin of the Empress, assassin of the Empress, and fought his way out of the flooded district. Corvo eventually cornered the last of the loyalists on King Sparrow Island at the Boroughs Lighthouse, and rescued Emily, rescued Emily Coldwin, heir to the throne. The romantic involvement between Corvo Atano and the Empress Jessamine Coldwin was a terrible kept court secret and thus it is widely held that Emily Coldwin is their daughter. Following the interregnum, Corvo watched over Emily as she began to rule the Empire of the Isles. Ah, so this is a, an answer to the question earlier in the, I think in this episode or the previous one, I think this one. Corvo is Emily's father probably, but it's just like an out of marriage child. is what I make of that. All right. ah, that's the ring. Nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Already read that one. All right, let's check the time. Holy shit, already 10 p.m. almost. Let's quickly read this one. Treaties on the physical existence of the foreign realm. 
Whispers from the Void by Barnoli Mulani 1. It's a common story. A person has stopped breathing, pinned under carriage wheels or some other tragic happenstance. It is thought to be that, but when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. But nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us, lost to the world itself. And what did they experience while in this temporary death? Darkness, nothingness? No, indeed not. They tell us, as so many before have, that they were in a particular place and can describe it vividly. And who among us does not know the place? Have we not all seen it in our dreams? This place we share in the farthest reaches of our minds. The real, where nothing makes sense, where one is at once both lost and at home, the void. Treatise on the physical existence of the foreign realm 2. This, these little glimpses of the void in dreams are described by those awakened from comas are not limited to select a few. In my interviews I've gleaned that there is not a single citizen without sufficient at one time or another. This then must be a real place, not folklore or mass delusion. Perhaps it exists deep below the earth or far above it. Perhaps it is right next to us but hidden. Some trick of the light or wondrous curtain bars us from fully knowing it. And we all but wait for a natural philosopher to unlock the phenomenon, to show us how to see that will. But when so revealed, it will not be a fearsome place any longer. Not the distant and special realm described in the myth of the outsider. It will be strange, yes, even unsettling, but nonetheless it will be a new realm for us to explore and eventually conquer. What new treasures await us there? Are the lakes made of liquid diamonds? The clouds of weightless silver gas? gas? And what things we would learn? I don't know. I do know that there's something there. Not sure what it was. But it looked valuable. valuable. I'm also still missing the first book on Corvo himself. This is the way out, but we first have to close down the um, the safe house to lock him up. Ah, this is maybe the first one. No, this is the part two that we already read. Whale oil. Fish, black crab, river crust. Scary peoples. The reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. All right. I'll need this. Safe and lock company crystal. It's so much nicer playing without the HUD because you pay attention so much more to the game world, what's actually in the world, because everything could be something. Instead of simply following a big marker like you have to go here or here. I can really recommend it to everyone. Of course, it's a bit requires a bit more commitment, but it certainly is well worth it here's part one his parents were older at the time of his birth and his father died in a lumber accident outside the city when Corvo was still young around that time his only sibling a firstborn sister moved away to Morley and the family subsequently lost all contact with her only 16 Corvo dazzled the people of Karnaka when he entered and won the annual blade for Bena the spectators from all over Circonus were thrilled to see someone so young and striking from a working class family advance through duel after duel, eventually taking the prize. This unexpected outcome secured Corval, a junior officer ranking in the Grand Circonum Guard. As a soldier he was involved in a number of conflicts against organized criminal groups, rogue city-states within Circonus and pirate bands along the chain of islands radiating east from Circonos. Sent from his homeland at the age of 18 by the Duke of Circonos, then Theodanus Abel, father of Luca Abel. Corfu was assigned to serve the emperor in Dunwall as a diplomatic gift. His Circonan heritage made him a bit of an outsider in Dunwall, but the capital city must have seemed exotic and full of old world mystery. A few months after he moved to Dunwall, it is recorded that Corvo received word that his mother had passed away several weeks after his departure, departure from Kernaka. 
So he's from Karnaka in Surkonon. Alright, I hope there won't be this much reading in each little uh, location in the game because it's quite a lot. Ah, you can set clocks. It's pretty funny. Letter from Weeman. Emily, I didn't want to wake you this morning, but you'll forgive me since we must have said goodbye a hundred times yesterday night. And the only chance I get to see you with your hair all whichever way is while you're asleep. As soon as the sun rises, you put on your empress face. It makes me happy that I know your real face, the one that loves at our silly rhymes. I don't want to go back to Morley, but I'm needed there. It'll be four months before we see each other again. I'll miss you. And yes, I'll bring you some white leaf tobacco for your hookah. Lord Corval, if you're reading this letter as per your royal protector functions, know that I'm joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden in Crystal. Take care, my daring Emily. Don't go falling from a rooftop. I love you, women. All right, that about sums up the safe house. Let's quickly also check out the areas over here. I don't. I think I more or less covered it all. Pretty sure I did. But uh, let's quickly run through it and then make our way outside in the next episodes to continue with the next part of the uh, this chapter. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope to see you in the next episode. And for the meantime, do not forget to always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.